new update for Stardew Valley, and it only takes 86 hours to reach perfection. Well, don't mind if I do. And of course, I chose the new farm type to play on, which starts you off with a lovely little coop, some chickens, and a bit of sweet blue product for said chickens. Oh my lord, look at the size of that tree. Ooh, what a lovely waterfall. I then proceeded to completely ignore one of the main additions of the update and met up with some townsfolk. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hi. Huh? Yo, they added carrots into the game. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh this big boy is pink cake. Oh. Oh, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. Yeah, we're gonna get a cruise of a little 500 bucks for that pink cake. No, don't mind if I do. Oh, hey, look, it's Welly. What a pleasure to meet him. Psych. Long live the Willy. And thus began my long and prosperous journey as the valley's sole fisherman. The beach provides knowledge. Can't you see I'm trying to fish here? Just move around. No reason you thoughts. You're going to love hearing Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evenings, top by the floor, that's where I work. Why, why'd you turn the monic on me, bro? You're scaring me, bro. Awesome on the road for today. Oh, eggs. Nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Leek, but you have to go. It's been a pleasure having you by my side, Mr. Leak. Oh, hey, look, it's the first of many level ups. Oh, also, look, I got a crisp a lot of money from fishing. Oh, hey, look, my carrots finally go. However, they only sell for 35 gold each. That is literally nothing. As you can see, that that's a new thing right there. <laughs> is there a meat grinder in the ocean that's just grinding up fish into this weird paste? What's stopping you from just picking up a Junimo and just... They just look so scrumptious, so crunchy. A beautiful shine to them. A, the most fresh apple that you could possibly ever eat. Ranch, I'll have to come back and explore the building further. Poor little old Gunther doesn't have anything in his poor little museum. Are you having a sad, Mr. Gunther? Are you disappointed about your lack of skill and your lack of gems? We found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. Language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. Aha! Uh -huh. This shirt bossin'. Awesome. Come here, come here. The soup is almost finished, but there's one key ingredient missing. You. Hey, it looks like I can afford another chicken. Well, don't mind if I do. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I can speak your language. Now it was time to venture down into the deepest depths of the mines by absolutely blasting through the many floors and finally finding a better sword for myself, which I immediately used to get even further into the mines and ultimately reaching floor 25. Uh, boom, horse ride is done. Yippee! I spent the entirety of the following day fishing because it was raining and I thought it would be a splendid time to do so. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, there's a, there's a spot over there. Let's look over there. There's a spot over there. I missed it. Right there. Chat, chat, chat. This is crazy, chat, chat. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall asleep, chat. This is crazy, chat. I'm gonna fall asleep on my doorstep, chat. Oh, I'm in the house, okay. And it turns out I've made a significant profit off of the fish. And a nice little bonus off of some of the potatoes I sold. I did donate a few things to Mr. Gunther over here. And got nine cauliflower seeds for my reward. Yes! Hello, Bebo. You brought me the item I asked for. Thanks so much. Price ticket. Bring this to the prize machine in Lewis's house for a special reward. Well, don't mind if I do. Price ticket time. I was just loading some more prizes into this machine here. My only worry is that people will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for their fellow man. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I see. Well, that's not what I hoped to hear. The first prize was rather boring, as it only gave me a few carrot seeds. The second prize, however, seemed to be a bit better. But I was going to have to wait a little while before I could get my hands on another prize ticket. What is this shit, bro? That ain't right, bro. What? Ooh, a lost book. Nice. Sir, sounds like they were like going to bank again. Every varmints. Just go around the corner and scare out those raccoons for me. Okay, George, no problem. I'll go take care of those raccoons. Oh, that's a weird looking raccoon. Oh well, no matter. Oh goody, the bookseller's in town. But unfortunately, I was far too poor to afford any books. 
Oh well. Oh boy, it's festival day. And to top it off, my vegetables have grown. Oh, how splendid. Mayo, let's go. And now, the egg festival. Ow, look at all these eggs. How do we know this year's egg hunt? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my lord, two grand. Oh my god, each mayo is like four times more expensive than just normal egg. Ooh, another big egg. Hello, Clint. Will you please upgrade my axe? Thank you very much. Yes, goodbye. Okay, boom. Ooh, some more cave progress. Yeah. I then decided that it would be a splendid idea to go buy a boatload of parsnips and plant them so I could get five golden quality parsnips for the community center. My lord, is that just from me? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Greetings, Clint. It is Geode unboxing time. Greetings, Gunther. It is gem donating time. Yo, Terry, let's go. Yes. Ooh, my potatoes have grown. Yes. Fish smoker recipe. Let's go. That requires coal. That's not very good. Thank you. I just had no coal to spare, honestly. Which is unfortunate, because the fish smoker can be really good if you just go to Clint and buy the coal. 3,000 from farming? Oh, the potatoes, plus the mayo. Oh my god, 2,000 from fish. Yeah, that's not incredible, considering you need coal for them. At this point, I thought it was time to maybe, you know, decorate the farm a little bit. However, I really just didn't have enough resources to do so, and chose just, like, the ugliest path and, and, and tried to... To make it look weird and cool and that just didn't work one smoked stone fish is a thousand okay that's pretty good ew it smells why is it locked i want to explore the sewers <laughs> something moving around in there guys what is that is, is that is that a note on the door only a master of the five ways may enter? Holy shit, like, it means skills, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, what am I doing today? Well, for one, harvesting, because it is harvest day. Let's go into the caves. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the thing I'm doing. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm feeling something. Whoa, what is it? Oh my goodness, the music. I'm feeling slimed up. Oh, what is this music? Oh. Oh, it's doing something to me. Oh, <laughs> not again. Spending all my money on an iridium rod right before summer. Well, don't mind if I do. That sounds like a lovely idea. Yeah, we're doing more fish. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but tomorrow is summer. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't have a lot of money. And I don't know if you've noticed, but but summer crops are probably quite expensive. Now you understand my, my, my pain. <gasps> Price ticket. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next one's pretty shit, but this one, we got a sapling. What is that? What is that? I don't know what either of those are. Bears fruit in the summer. I wish I could have gotten that earlier. Yeesh. New achievement. Cup book. Oh. What? Huh? I just sent a bunch of mystery crates around the valley. Mystery boxes can now be found. Okay. A brand new season descends upon the valley, and I must quickly prepare my farm for a profit but pro 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 profitable summer. This is here. There's a legendary fish here. Yeah. Well, speaking of which. Oh, here, look who decided to finally try to put a book in his hand and actually read it. <laughs> yes, yes. Boys, we got a mystery box. Let's see what it is. It's a rice pudding. That's not too bad. Yo, why do I hear boss music? After three days of straight fishing, a mildly concerning weather report just came in. Um, there appears to be some kind of anomalous reading. I don't know what this means. What's gonna happen tomorrow? Is the world gonna end? Da 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 da. What do you mean da 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 da? <laughs> Guys, what's going on? Saw the weather report last night. I'm not sure what will happen, but if anyone wants to take shelter in the saloon, I'll keep it open all day. 
Not only does the green rain bring with it some funky fresh vibes, but it also brings with it an assortment of wild, wacky trees. Trees that drop copious amounts of fiddle headphones, but most importantly of all, it brings joy and love into the world in the form of moss. The traveling merchant decided to show up today, so I brought from them some starfruit seeds, a strange bun, and a rare seed for future activities. Jesse, we gotta cook. The rain, it's a sign. It's a sign from God, Jesse. Gotta cook green meth now. It's much better than the rest. Slinostectives. All these strange trees will be gone tomorrow. How do you know that? Clearly this is the first time this has ever happened in the valley. And, but he knows about it. Nah, bro. Nah. Guys, we got 25% more wood. Let's fucking go. Oh, yes. Oh, perfect. No. Yeah. Oh, let's go. We did it, boys. We did it. Here you go, Gus. I got you a flounder. No, no. We need a flounder. I need the flounder for the stew I'm making. Love, Jody. Fuck me. I hate all of you. Where the fuck is this man going? Dude, what? Maybe I'll stop at your place someday and check it out. Don't you dare. I don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. And I can build a barn. I'm gonna buy some cows. I'm gonna buy the milk pail. I'm gonna get the cheese makers. Hey, what's up, my boys? <laughs> Well, Governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course. I've been looking forward to this all year. Oh my, that's the soup I've ever... Governor, I wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. Time to head home. Oh, what is this? I don't know. What, what is that? I just have a dehydrator for free? Okay. Hey, I, 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 I ain't complaining. Watering can upgrade. Very nice. Do I have a bobber thing? Ooh, nice. Lost book and a mystery box. That's awesome. Yes, that works. Hey, that works pretty good, actually. I like that. I did also decide to buy a little workbench for myself so I could craft things much easier. Ooh, melons. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> hey, what's up, my boy? Oh, my God. Is that the water coppering can? What are we gonna get? That's right, mix seeds, more mix seeds, mystery bounce, bounce, fish stew, coffee, and some deluxe speed growth. I could make a worm bin. Holy shit, deluxe worm bin. Just like that. Just like that. News just in. Dried melons sell for a whopping 1900 gold. Which is absolutely not worth it if you're using gold and quality melons. Which is what I did. The spirits were very happy on this fine day, and so I decided to take advantage of that and go down exploring into the caves, where I ended up going all the way from floor 65 to floor 85, nearing the bottom of the mines. <laughs> And now that we finally have a barn, it was time to get some cows. So welcome, Sasage, Zeppelin, Trinity, and Puppy. God, these are horrible names, honestly. What was I thinking? And now an update of how many monsters I've killed. Practically nothing. See you in the next update. What? Hey, uh, since you wanted to eat us earlier, we decided that we are going to eat you, actually. Because it's kind of mean to eat us. We are the dynamos and eaters of you. It's finally been done. Uh, I've reached uh, the, the floor 100 of the match. Oh my god, we're gonna get started up. Oh my god, let's go. Start up. Let's go. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of streaming. <laughs> Your maximum energy level increases. I'm going more than- oh my god, that's so- what? What? What are the odds, bro? <laughs> this is why you mine on a lucky day. Uh, watering can. Yeah, yeah, I'm upgrading the watering can. You have a last level, just like that. This is easy. Level update. We got the fishing almost maxed out, and the rest is about halfway. Level update out. Let's get- just, just like that, it's that easy. Okay, hold on, what's going on here? Trout Derby this weekend. Come prove your fresh, fresh ma fresh water skills and win prizes. Cool. Mushroom log. Lightning rod. 
We're the famous fishing sisters. It's the big day. The army of women tuned to catch trout. During this event, rainbow trout have a chance of carrying a golden tag. If you find one, turn it in here for a prize. Seems like you don't have any golden ticket tags. Better get fishing. Is this is this Walter White? What the hell? I am the one who fishes. Yes, I did spend the entire day fishing. And yes, I did get a whole tent kit, one singular diamond, and a mounted trout trophy thing. Mm hmm never fishing again. Immediately after the trout derby fiasco, I decided to clean up my base a little bit by getting rid of the old broken down fences and replacing them with new gorgeous stone walls. I also got rid of the old ugly looking path and replaced it with a nice lovely simple little path. A book, nice. Jack be nimble, Jack be sick. Can one defense. Okay. Emily, bring Emily a melon. Hello, Bobo. You brought me night and mask for. Thanks so much. Okay, we got a prize. It's a weird thing. Star drop tea. Very special gift that would delight anyone. Oh, is that a fairy? How wonderful! A birthday gift. Wow. Three hearts, just like that. Oh my god, is that the steel pickaxe from Minecraft, guys? Oh my god. And now by harnessing the strength of the steel pickaxe from Minecraft, we can break the big rocks in our farm. And with that, we've got the bug slaying monster slayer goal quest complete. How lovely. Ooh, I got a, I got a combat quarterly. And I got a dwarf scroll. Nice. And I got a flannel shirt. You know what? I kind of like that. The last day of summer is upon us, and with it brings one singular peach from my fruit tree. Perfect for the community center. I then decided that it was finally time to set up the tree tapping area by planting 15 of each tree in the train station. Silo in the corner for today. And since I was in the area, I decided I might as well buy a calendar and a telephone for myself. And with that, I've donated a whopping of 40 items to the museum and got myself the treasure trove achievement. Oh, fall. What a beautiful season. Ripe with many warm and cozy colors. Perfect for making mad amounts of money. But of course, before we could earn mighty amounts of money, we must first spend plenty for seeds. Now that I finally have a silo, I decided that I would harvest up a bunch of hay for my animals. Ah, hello there, Burbo. You showed up at a perfect time. It's our new special orders board. You see, Frumpleding Farm back in business, the local economy has really been picking up. So Robin and I came up with the idea of a new special orders board for bigger requests. Yeah, for example, I plan on requesting some hardwood for a bed I want to make. Do not request hardwood. How dare you request hardwood? It grow seed water. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you plant a rare seed. And now, time for some ducks. Great! I'll send little Chicken to your home right away. right away. Oh my god, guys, is that a shed? Oh my god, how did I build it? I, I do not understand. Please explain in the comments, please. How do I build a shed? Ooh, level 9 farming. Guys, we got this many geodes. And we just have to unbox them. It's a lot. Oh, yeah. oh yes, price tickets! Oh my god, to be yes, price tickets! Oh my god, I'm just so love price tickets! Now nah, let's give it a hundred back pieces, whatever. Boom! With my brand new shed firmly in place, I just had to recombobulate my entire base. I am atomic. That is how I managed to complete one third of the quest in one single day. And since I spent the entire day in the mine slaying bugs, I thought it was the perfect time to catch myself a little walleye for the community center. What? Dude, it's, it's 12 a.m. What is wrong with you? 
I just wanted to check up on you and see if Rumpelink Farm is doing well. How's everything going? Why would you call me at 12 fucking a.m., Lewis? I know your secret, Lewis. What's that? I think the line cut out. I can't hear a thing. All right, well, I guess I'll hang up then. Bye. Fish update. We got half the fish. Goodbye. Oh my god, guys, can you believe it? That's the berry basket right there that I have to give to Linus. Oh my god. Big barn. Barn that's big. My basket. Thank you. This means a lot to me. Here it is. 100 bug meat, just like that. 3,000 gold. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, nice. Uh, stables, please, my boy. Where would I put it? Ew. Oh, ew. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I don't know where to put it. I'm panicking. That's fine. Today is the day of the Stardew Valley Fair. So it's time to grab my things for the grand display and go have a wonderful time. Oh! <laughs> now that's what I like to see. You have a star token. To a single fucking one, bro. Look at this beautiful assortment of items. Hang out over there. So Ooh, congratulations. You won first place for a rating of 96. The prize is a thousand star tokens. And the miserly. God damn it. No accuracy bonus, but 72. Bleh. Time to get serious, ladies and gentlemen, for it is spinny wheel time. The only carnival game that is 100% rigged entirely in your favor by paying out on green far more often than orange. With my totally legit winnings, I bought myself a prize ticket, a rare crow, and most important of all, a star drop, which tasted like streaming. And with that, the Stardew Valley Fair draws to an end. Please welcome Shush, Pickle Rick, Boppers, and of course Ratass onto the farm, the four goats of the apocalypse. Yo dog, go get some wood. Yeah, yeah, okay, Robert. Yeah, yeah, I'll go get some wood. Okay, no problem, no problem. Like wood? Yeah, yeah, wood, right? Okay, I'll go, get some, go, I'll go get some wood. Yeah, no problem. Some wood? Yeah, wood? Oh my god, wood? I love myself for some wood. I will surely get a thousand pieces of wood. Oh my god, I love wood. I love working with wood. Oh my god. I will get so much wood. You don't even know what to do with it. Wood. Hey. Wood. Finally, horse. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh name. Ooh, name. I can name Puggers. Whee! Oh, the lava eel. The eel that lives within the lava. Oh, how difficult it is to catch amongst all the trash. And yet, I've got it, cause I'm a gamer. Yes, we did it. Oh, hey, would you look at that? I'm out of coal. Great and awesome and so cool. I'm so happy about that. Well, at least I had enough copper to make a boatload of tree taps. Actually enough for every single tree in the train station that I planted exactly one month prior. Deluxe coop, the coop that is deluxe. And folks, we've got a stat update. We got level nine farming, level eight foraging and mining, level 10 fishing, ooh, and level seven in combat. Stat update out. We got wabbits, I can buy two bro, two. Friends all, why not? That's the reference right there. And if you were wondering about my mahogany tree setup, well, it's spreading very, very slowly. Not that it really has anywhere to spread, uh, being surrounded by trees and farmland and whatnot. <laughs> Oh, Max Farming, baby, let's go. Brother, this profession stinks. But you know what doesn't stink? Having a bunch of charcoal kills to make charcoal for myself because I don't have any charcoal. Lads, lads, we go to rare seed. We go to jam, sweet berry jam. Boom. Oh, yeah, I gotta talk to it. <laughs> I forgot. Let's go. Uh, it is George's birthday, so I should probably go get the leaks and stuff so I could give it to him for his birthday so he could be friends with me. Oh, is it my birthday today? Oh, yes, it is. Thanks. This is nice. Wait, the horse has my hat? What? Oh. It worked. The lockbox swings open. Inside, there's a note. Your first task. Bring me a rainbow shell to the train platform. Throw the shell in the box. Immediately, a note falls down from the rafters above. Well done. Your next task, place 10 beets inside Mayor's fridge. It's a pre-recorded message in a foreign language. You can't understand it at all. Classic. Oh, hey, and would you look at that? The bookseller is in town for today. So I bought a price catalog, arguably the best book in the game. I really wanted to buy The Way of the Wind. However, I thought that I'd much rather have the autograver from Marnie. <laughs> 
That's not a sword. Oh, and would you look at that? My rabbits have finally produced some wool, which I can turn into cloth and put straight into the community center and complete the pantry. But before we do that, we have some prismatic slime hunting we gotta do. What is that? Star helmet? <laughs> What? Nah, I gotta go on my horse, bro. You kidding me? I'm oh, is that it? Is that the what? The horse must have this. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. We got the weird hatted horse, baby. Let's go. I turned in the prismatic jelly to the wizard, but he just told me to be gone and threatened me with magic circles under his house. What an absolute meanie. Ladies and gentlemen, get your spooks ready, for it is Spirit Eve! Why are you 4,000? I bought it, boys, I bought it! Four grand down the drain! <laughs> now, I absolutely should have sold the golden pumpkin, but I instead I kept it as a souvenir and put it in a- <laughs> Hi, Bobo. Good morning. You seem to be doing well. You've been here a while. I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now. You sense my cloth in my hands and you come here. You, you scary lady. You can now answer. Specimen you developed offered a great insight into the machinations of the fell beings we call monsters. I've formulated a pungent tincture that these beings find intoxicating. Use it with caution. Yes, cloth. Yes. The greenhouse will be complete. Oh, lovely. This house was empty for years. The trees moved in, and so did we. Nice. Yo, check out this maple syrup and oak resin harvest. God diggity damn. Oh, could see in the IP. <laughs> they love it. Look at them go. Huh? What the fuck is that? I was just thinking of you, lad. Yo, learn how to craft quality barber. Using that bother will attract higher quality fish. Ooh, red cabbage seeds. By the way, red cabbage can only be obtained on the second year in summer and is needed for completing the community center. So I got really lucky here. Ooh. It's like, hey, psst, psst, over here, over here. Hey, Bobo, where? Huh? What's going on? Hey, over here. Look, look a little more closely. That's right, I'm in the bin. Ooh, and it turns out that grass doesn't disappear in the winter now. How lovely. Ooh, Mr. Corobus has decided to show himself. So everybody got winter clothing. Literally everybody got winter. That's cool as fuck. Ooh, a rare disc. Isn't that like actually straight up super rare? Hey, Corobus, my boy was popping. Eep, you, you got me, I'm sorry, take it, take it, uh, it looks so valuable, I couldn't help myself. You received the magnifying glass. You now have the ability to find secret notes. Okay, very cool. Oh shit, how the hell did Robin move me while I was sleeping? Whoa, put that shit back. <laughs> you see, out here in El Bobo Man Farm, we care about efficiency. And you see, when the bed's far away like that in the other room, efficiency goes down by a factor of 10. And speaking of efficiency, you know what else is efficient? You're capturing the glacier fish! I have to be wary of strangers. Most people don't like a wild man. Oh yeah? But I do. Ho ho ho, six hearts. You remembered my birthday, thank you. Hello, Speedgro. I am putting you into the ground. Oh my god, the barn barn. The barn that is barn. Alright boys, the, pri the bridge shall be repaired. Please. We're happy to help. It's not our house after all. Cranberry syrup in the greenhouse, that's what you get today. Ooh. Hey, guys, 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 chat, 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 can I go here or can I not go here? I can't go here. Why can I go here? I don't know why I can go here. Wow. Oh, hey, out. golden scythe, nice. Wow. Do you guys like the explosions? I love the explosions. They go like boom and bam and bring and fling and ba bing and kaboom and flame. Let me in, Emily. Let me in. I have an amethyst for you. Oh, it's in the fridge. Tightly sealed jar of carnicorns. What is a cornicon? Queen the wash salad. You're making shit up at this point, game. Oh, my favorite stone. You're so sweet. Oh, it's from who? Oh, you got the clint. Well, I don't care. Hey, where you got from? It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, do you know how to cook bean, I put? 
We got the ice pit, by the way. I don't know if you picked up on that. Like, it's this the ice pit. Oh, yeah, don't mind if I do, bro. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> what? It was a strong windstorm during the night? Uh-oh. <laughs> 11 grand? God damn. That's pretty good. I like that. Hey, the queen of sauce. Plum pudding. I have a gift for you. An old key that has been sealed in the museum vault for at least 100 years. It's a little rusty, but still beautiful. Animals. Here, have 25 grand. Free of charge. So many wonderful bundles. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where's the tree, bro? It didn't fall over. It just disappeared. The old tree is gone. However, with a hundred pieces of hardwood, this could be fixed up. What do you mean strong winds? That's not how wind works. It would have uprooted the fucking thing. Or what if it would snap in half and fucking, I don't know, land somewhere. What? The beaver eaten the tree. Hello, here you go. We got the new thing. It's just gonna be a full new tree. Oh shit. Maybe someone will decide to move in. I don't know if I have it or not. I can't be bothered to check. I'll just get it. Whatever. Finally, boost repair. EP, it's festival time. Sorry, but having us, parapets requires my undivided attention. I can't feel my fingers anymore. I just bought this for cheaper. <laughs> let's go. Around right, Mr. Louis, let's start the festival, please. Naturally, I was victorious with six big fish. My prize consisted of a sailor's hat, a dress spinner, a barbed hook, and a magnet hook. How lovely. Feeling inspired from the winnings of the festival, I decided to finally make my way down to the desert, where I instantly caught myself a sandfish and a scorpion cop for the collection. We in the Skull Caverns, boys! I was surely way under-geared for my first run in the Skull Cavern, so I only ended up getting to, like, level 10. I see you've entered the Skull Cavern. Ooh, I've got a mountain of coins if you go to level 25. The raccoon! The raccoon moved in, oh my god! Raccoon hungry. Need fish. With my recently caught sandfish, I can finally complete the fish tank bundle. And with that, there's only one thing left to complete. The bulletin board. When we're done here, we'll return to the other world. A human visitor. This is most unusual. I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. I find things here and I sell them. Care to buy anything? No, Krobus. I'm too poor to buy anything. However, I will catch the legendary fish, Mutant Cup, leaving us with only one legendary fish to catch. The legend. Man, I wish these crap parts actually gave me good stuff instead of trash all the goddamn time. God damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh. It's a lovely day today because we got crumbles. And the red cabbage, I suppose. Uh, go back, X, please, boss. Thank you. Goodbye. Wait fast, yo. Oh, and very conveniently, the crab pots finally produced the fish I needed for the collection. Yes, I did spend the entire day fishing and was rewarded with a pearl and an Arto crab and bone, alongside a bunch of other less useful things. Oh, <gasps> there's a bridge here. Oh, my lord. <laughs> when the fuck did this happen? So oh, a golden pumpkin. What? Okay. A full-on treasure chest? Whoa! I like that! Okay. Another one?! What is happening?! We're rich! And we got a farm computer, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wow, well, did you look at that? Some stats. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, what? What did I sell? Oh, the treasure chests, right. Holy shit, 20 grand, boys. And on this very happy day, I reached floor 25 in the Skull Caverns. How lovely. The night market is finally here. But most importantly, we now have access to deep sea fishing, which introduces the spook fish, the midnight squid, and the ever elusive blobfish for us to catch and fill up our collections with. Please, Clint, could you please upgrade my pickaxe, please? Yo, you're welcome, my boy. Now we're super friends. Yo. Yeah. Thank you for upgrading my, my pickaxe, Clint. Very cool. Bye. That's cr Oh, we fucking got it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is so much better. Oh, my God. 
And to celebrate this grand new discovery, I decided to refurbish the entire farm by placing down all kinds of sorts of paths everywhere and fences and sorting everything out into its own unique little areas and putting floors everywhere. And oh boy, was it lovely. Hey, we got an omelette. Well, folks, once again, we gathered for a very special occasion. Rare visit from a very dear friend. My world famous giant omelette. Bobo, come and stand next to the fire pit. It feels great. I was hoping you'd come by sometime. I want to say sorry for mistrusting you at first. You've been uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. I consider you a good friend. Hey, I want to show you something. Come inside. <laughs> uh, 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 what are you doing, Linus? Oh my gosh, Santa. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Look at this little fella. He's waiting. He's waiting for his food. Yes. Yes. We've done it. What now? <laughs> Think about that. Do this. Bro, that shit. Now maybe I find a wife? Yay. It's a Christmas. Hello, Pierre. You've got garbage. I said you had some heavy rolls. Thanks. Oh my god, it's Herbie. Can be drugs? Please tell me. Oh, okay. That's lame as fuck. Thanks, Harvey. Note from Gunther. Wow, this light ray has really become great. Thanks to your help. Thanks a bunch. Okay, weird. I don't know why you didn't just send me a letter saying that. Like, what? Why was there a book pre-written on the ground that said thanks for making this place great? What? Are we in a time loop? Those eels look mighty spicy. May I have some perchance? And with the extraordinary help of the spicy eels, I made it all the way to floor 100, where I earned myself a singular prismatic shard. And then kept going, of course, and made it all the way to floor 151, where I had to leave because it was getting very late. And from this prosperous adventure, I earned a whopping 139 redeem all and Five prismatic shards and all sorts of other goodies. Hey kid, I need a lucky break. Why don't you bring me a rabbit's foot? I'll make it worth your while. Yippee! Special charm. Luck is permanently increased. There it is. Got him. Oh, Mary Lewis. What's this? Yeah, everyone seems a little happier on the weekends, <laughs> including you, I'm sure of it. I'd appreciate it very much if you refrained from placing my private belongings in town for all to see. I am very displeased. Take this money and never speak of my project to anyone. Quickly <laughs> place the beats in the fridge. Good job, kid. Final task. Give the sand dragon his last meal. Hey, it's crab season! My experiment needs a little work. <laughs> Back at it again, huh, Willie? Aye, these are the finest, meatiest crabs you'll ever set your eyes upon. They be a little too feisty, though. I'll take the whole lot. With a discount for the extra labor, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Nope. Yep. Oh my god, the auto better what? And with that, the first year is over. Time for a prosperous second one. Oh my god, it's Kent. Um, hello there. My name is Kent. I, I just got back last night from uh, overseas. My wife told me that a new farmer had moved in while I was gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. Price of raw minerals and ramen shop and cleanse has increased. Great, thanks. And if you were wondering, I made a total of 600,000 gold from the first year. Yeah, give me all of your cauliflower seeds, thank you. Seeds go into the ground. Bro, you ain't gonna believe this, but like, the last thing I needed for the community center were truffles? And guess what my pigs were refusing to give me? Travels. Boom. Place the essence in the dragon's mouth. Only then do you notice a hidden note in the eye socket. You've proven yourself, kid. Check out the pile of lumber next to your house. Dickhead. I ain't going back. Actually, I'm not even gonna go into the caves. You know why? I don't have food. Yeah. Wait, the animals are gonna be inside. I'm not gonna be able to get truffles today. Oh my god. Oh! Raccoon's got a wife! Hungry. Need fruit. Oh, dried apricots and cherry jelly. What's poppin'? Why are you getting closer to it? <sighs> that smell. Come closer. What is wrong with its face? What the fuck? Bro, now nah, what? What is, what is that? Yeah, thought every day you get to speak to a human. Looks like you've got a little horse magic in you. And you've got a little bit of a face deformity, my boy. Now about my note. 
Did you bring the good stuff? <laughs> oh, 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 that smell. This is really sweet stuff. My favorite sauce. It makes me very happy. Love you, Moji. You've made a friend today, Bobo. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm failing. I'm, uh, hold on. I wasn't ready for this. I don't have any practice with other fish today. Oh, come on. Yes! Let's go, boys! <laughs> this is that easy. Ooh, that's a lot of honey. Also, it said somewhere that, like, spreading weeds destroyed my farm. We got a Bobo shirt? A pink shirt featuring a strange-looking guy? What do you mean we got a Bobo shirt in the game? I'm Bobo. <laughs> what? That's big. Nah, this is a revelation right here. Holy shit, the amount of mahogany trees that are gonna be everywhere. This is gonna be beautiful. <laughs> yes! cha cha real smooths. Done it! He's got us, not truffle boys! Yes! Yes! We've fucking done it! Yes, completed! Literally, let's go! The last bundle. Farewell, Bobo! Are you speaking to me or the, or the guy in my shirt? Let's go! Bye, goodbye! Goodbye! Your moves have returned to the spirit world. Dear Bobo, Everyone around town has been talking about your great generosity. Apparently, packages have been going everywhere in the package all just from you. I'm not sure how you did it, Bobo, but the community center has never looked better. Yay! <laughs> Sales have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? Let's do a little spin. What? All my customers here? This isn't good. How does it feel? Let's settle this the old fashioned way. <laughs> This means nothing. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me begging for forgiveness. You'll see. No one else gives a shit. Willie's just looking at fish. You're even weaker than your fresh produce selection. And the way you throw punches is just like Jody. His voice changes every time. Quantity over quality. Oh, Emily. She is sleeping. And now I'm going to telepathically go into her dreams. Boy. Yes, hello, Emily. I have astro projectiled myself into your dream. Why are you here? I know why you're here. It's a sign. Bobo, there's something special about Bobo. Our destinies will intersect. We got a crispy bass, we got a spicy eel, we got a bean hot bar, we got some dinner, we got fried mushroom, pale bra. What? Oh, but I'm not sure how the human message system works, so I asked Wizard to help me write this letter. Hope you're doing okay. Want to share this with you? It's notes on how my people build a certain item. A dark sign. Fish stew, we got salad. Beer's general store is now open all the time. I'm allowed to back room. Animal catalog moment. Aye. Sad sight, isn't she? It was my family father's boat. Served him well for over 50 years. Now she can barely stay afloat. Aye, 200 pieces of hardwood to battle. Blah, 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 blah. Time to sacrifice these hardwood trees up here. Planted these fellas here a long time ago. Now it's time for them to go. I need the hardwood. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of money. Oh my lord. Oh, raccoons. Hello. Boom. What do we got? Oh, thanks, thanks, Bobo. You take this. Raccoon Journal. We'd have a greater chance to yield the mixed teas. Uh -huh. Now we start a family. We fucking sending it. Oh, we're on a boat. <laughs> There's like 120 of these. Ooh, 10 kids. Ah, walnut. Ah, yes. Child's like, yo, what the fuck? You got walnuts? Well, looks at you with curious eyes. Oh, so you can squawk. That's what it is. Well, I can do it too. He's too shy to approach you right now. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, hey, look at this. Yeah, let's go. All right, so first of all, there's one here I can immediately see. Then you can probably go somewhere in here and <laughs> get this one. All right, good progress, good progress. You love to see it. It's a path. Sure is. Sure is, baby. Let's go. Oh, there's one there. Also, that's just a golden walnut right fucking there. Right, right there, right there. Uh, there's one here. So there's one there. Money! Back! Find golden wallet! What? One point your mill, bro? Ain't no fucking way. How's that pair gonna do with that money? Ooh, a couple more golden walnuts. Very nice. 
And yes, I did check the other side of the little lava river, but there was nothing there. Bollocks! Even though the music absolutely slapped, this place was apparently no joke, as I was absolutely getting destroyed by these slimes and little lava things. <laughs> oh my lord. Apart from completing a monster slayer quest, I didn't get very far into the volcano and decided to warp back to the farm to do some farm work. Such as building a few bee houses and also buying another bot account in the form of a pig. You... You are in here. You're very hidden, my boy. <laughs> oh, you brought me a dad, man. Well, thank you. An achievement. Oh, a big help. Complete 40 help ones. Golden coconut turn into golden walnut. Goodbye. We've got a new farm. Let's go. And it's got plenty of hardwood just for me. Hmm, what is this? Oh, it's Ginger. Who's this guy? There's an X right here. One under here. Yep. Hello, new person, boys. Oh, a visitor. Come closer, child. I haven't had a visitor in many moons. I almost forgot what other people looked like. May as well ask you for a favor. Have you seen that wrecked ship on the south shore? My husband was the captain. A pirate he was. He set sail one day, never to return. It took me three years sailing the high seas to find his remains. My child, if I could only find a keepsake of his, would bring me such peace. Here, take this. It's an old photograph that washed up on shore. Somehow I think it will help you find what I seek. Oh, well, there's this one, obviously. Only the greatest one of the hunters may enter here. Uh, oh, I can go here. Oh, my blind! How the frick did I miss that? Oh, we, we had a time lapse of me like, cutting down the whole farm and all the trees and hardwood and, and stones and stuff. And oh, boy, it's lovely. We got a couple of scrap notes and then we'll let's see what they are. The first note mentioned there being some edible fish and a few walnuts in the water around the island. And the second note detailed how to look for hidden golden walnuts. Oh, sleep. Oh, that's cool. Did I get this one? I didn't. Oh, <laughs> nice. Believe it or not, today was the day that I would get all the way to the top of the volcano by battling through many swarms of fire spears and finding a treasure here and there along the way. I also found a super ultra deluxe rare mushroom room that had many fun guys in it that I swiftly took care of. After a fierce altercation with some bots, I was rewarded with a wonderful treasure, a deluxe pirate hat. Army mateys, with this we'll sail the seven seas and get lots and lots of scurvy. And with that, I I've made it to the top, where I found a couple of golden walnuts and a prismatic shard for upgrading one of my tools. I decided to try it out on my pickaxe and ended up getting the efficient enchantment thing. Squawk, squawk, bear, it's time to build me a new house. Oh my goodness, look how big and spacious this house is. Too bad I will never furnish it. What is this? Who dares to enter my desk? A humble farmer. I'm to cultivate my lands. What I would give to feast my eyes upon the banquet of life once more. That's where you come in. You must grow for me that sweet delight, which is both pink and juicy. I see you're growing the thing I seek. However, it is still but a child. Ooh, a blue discus. That will fit perfectly into my collection. All right, bridge repair. Boom, done. Ooh, a big rock. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't dig it with my pickaxe. Aww. I'd have to explode it. That won't work. Only now you say that, bro. <laughs> and after swiftly digging up all the fossils, I went and looked around the area and found a few golden walnuts for myself in various places. Right. How lovely. And by Back at the farm, I had a bountiful cauliflower harvest that I replanted with a bunch of potatoes. And then I finally decided that I'll actually look into the logs of my house and get the VIP card thing. Uh, oh my god. Okay, this is a lot to look at. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Where do I even begin with? Hello, Sam. Hey, Bob. I'll check out my cactus. I'm trying to think of a name for him. Yeah, I'm just hanging out with this bird. She seems to like me. I'm glad you fixed up the bus. This is really fun. Ah, uh, yes. You look like someone who would appreciate what I'm offering. You're ready to welcome new cactus into your life? Yes. Great, let's see. <coughs> Hell yeah. This one's a little shy, but I know we'll become friends in no time. Hell yeah, we will. We'll name him Derek. We got Derek the cactus inside of me. This weather is just perfect. I can't tell whether my where my skin ends and the air begins. What? So what does this mean? I can't tell where my skin ends and the air begins. Are you melting into the air? What the fuck does that mean, bro? Oh, eggs. You need eggs. Penny's fryer. <laughs> 
155 damage, bro. What do we got here? Prismatic shower for 500. Okay. Kind of cool. After a long, dark winter, this festival is a good way to revive everyone. <laughs> like, hello there. <coughs> Fuck. Yes, I'm very pleased to hear that. I'd like to make you a very special dish. Something perfectly suited to your unique taste. May I? Oh, <laughs> very good. Now, what will you have? Rare fruit. Ah, yes, yeah, the rare fruit. Excellent choice. What kind of sauce will you have? Very good. A healthy drizzle of mushroom cream to round out the fish. Oh. Oh, hit him with the fire. Voila! I call it super food kick. Enjoy. It's plus three luck that's and I'm going in, boys. Here's a secret. Elliot loves squidding. Hey there, Bobo. Welcome to the Adventures Guild Challenge Booth. Every day we'll have a pair of challenges for you to choose from. Complete one and the guild will reward you with a bounty of calico eggs. Descend into the skull cavern and slay ten mummies. That's kind of difficult. Collect twelve omnidios from the skull cavern. It's a brand new day. Come back when you've proven yourself in the caverns. What else we got? Okay, we'll go what up them back. Oh! <laughs> trade. <laughs> eggs. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> trade eggs. I, I want eggs. Give me eggs, yes. What do we got here? What do you got? Just random, random normal stuff. I right, was going to shoot my boy. Race now. Race currently in progress. Let's talk later. Okay, so pretty much in the Skull Caverns, you got the egg rating. And basically, to get egg rating, you can either go down five levels or activate statues. And the more egg rating you have, the more eggs you get at the end if you talk to Jill, which I definitely did. Trust me. My first Skull Cavern run was pretty uneventful, to be honest. I didn't really get any bad effects from that statues and got to level 63 and just decided to kind of leave it at that. I then spoke to Marlon to because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. But apparently, I was supposed to speak with Jill as well so I could get actual fucking eggs from the egg rating and I didn't do that so I only got 158 eggs at the end of the day which uh, basically I got ripped off on his bullshit lol I hit the right underneath the bus greetings friend care for a test of knowledge if you can answer my questions correctly you will learn a prize question one where are we Calico Desert correct question two when is Pierre's shop normally closed Wednesday how much does a duck cost 8,000 does it no it doesn't 1,200 Correct. How many garbage cans are there in Pel- Bruh. There's one at Piers, there's not. George House. Joja Mart. Lint. Gunther. Lewis's house. Then one at the saloon. One at Haley's house. And one at Jody's house. There's eight, I think. <laughs> I fucking did it! I, I have 600 hours in this game. Fuck you, scholar. Very good. I'm impressed with your knowledge, friend. Here is your prize. Knock, knock, honey. I'm coming in. What? No, wait, I'm naked. What's going on? That was fun. I hope you're as happy with your new look as I am. Oh, goodness. Oh, not to have bad, sweetie. Come back soon. I'll have a new look waiting for you. No, that ain't too bad. I'm red now. Sup, Clint? Hello, Bobo. I'll tell you the truth. I don't really like festivals, but I'd feel like even worse if I stayed at home. Fuck you, Clint. <laughs> Get in the mines and start mining iridium like a true blacksmith. I was going through the caverns really nearly and everything was fine, right? Got some statues, got plenty of egg rating, everything was good. Until this happened! Ooh, auto petter time, boys. Auto petter right here. Guaranteed 100%. <laughs> Fucking called it, baby. Let's go. What the hell? Another one. <laughs> What do you mean? What do you mean, bro? What's that look? What the fuck? Too fucking wild. What? what are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? What the hell? I think this event could be the, one of the most rarest things that has ever happened in Stardew Valley. Maybe, I don't know. With a 5% chance to find the treasure room poor floor and a 3.5% chance of finding an auto pattern in the treasures, I believe the chance of this happening is an astronomically low 0.00035% chance. Which is utterly ridiculous that I even did this. Oh my goodness. Oh god, I want. I just wanted the statue, man. More bats? That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Yes, my luck started running out between floor 60 and 70, and I decided that I'll leave the caves uh, for today and, and come back another day. Of course, once again, I forgot to speak to Jill because I didn't realize that that was what I was supposed to do to actually get my calico eggs, and so I missed out on a bunch and the uh, statues were pointless. Braces are need some time to prepare. Come back later. Oh, he always just says come back later. I don't understand what you mean by that. I'm gonna get so fucking far, dude. I'm gonna get so far. You have no idea. Why, hello there, hungry. 
I know I said that I would make it really, really far into the caves today. However, I got quite unlucky and didn't really get that far. However, I did manage to get to floor 100 where Mr. Kui was waiting for me. Well, 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 you made it. Come closer now, don't be shy. I heard you were attempting a deep dive into these caverns today. I had to see for myself. Impressive, very impressive. You passed my test with flying colors, kid. Now, go over to the table and drink this special milk I've prepared for you. That's kind of sus. Here, kid, take these performance-enhancing drugs. The taste is awful, and the texture is even worse. But your health is permanently increased by 25. Midday is highest degrading. I was supposed to be doing that. 32? Well, I'll be. We've got a real cargo hunter here. Oh boy, I could have been doing that every fucking day and gotten a shitload of eggs. I'm pissed off now. Magic rock candy. Five luck and a bunch of other shit. Holy shit, that's good. I'm buying this. Okay, before we continue, let me visualize your arts. Your kind of tile will make you happiness. What do you think? Hmm. Yes, I can feel your inner self and outer self are now in perfect alignment. I can't wait for you to see the new you. Yeah, looking great. Come back another day and we'll put a, together a fresh new look for you. <laughs> she made me a fucking dinosaur, bro. Ain't no fucking way. My tail wags when I run. <laughs> this woman, bro, that's crazy. Oh boy, what would you look at that? We got our first blue jazz honey harvest, and it's it's not that good. But fear not, for when we get fairy roses, we will be rich. Oh, I like your wonder what that good smell is. Why, that's nice of you to say. I'm actually baking you famous cookies. Here, why don't you try one? Mm-mm-mm, <laughs> that's your <laughs> Oh my god, dude, what is happening? How many times can I enter this damn house? So at this point I had enough resources to build a bunch of dehydrators and that's what I did. I even made a little nice little flooring for them and put them on top. So hold on, how much is five cranberries? It's 375 and this is 587. And that would be better if I got the other profession. I'm gonna get the other profession, that's it. Look at this. I need more. Oh my god, get the dunamo! Oh hey, look at all the things that I need to complete this, all of which I don't have! That's 15,000 right there. Oh my goodness, these dehydrators are sexy! Ah, Bobo, I've been waiting for you. Have I ever told you I used to be married? My wife and I were together for many years, till I made a mistake that drove her away. Her anger and envy were so intense that she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. When I found out, I sealed this passage to her home. But now it must be unsealed, for when we separated, she took my magic ink. I need that uh, magic ink back! In order to unseal these patches, you'll need a dark talisman and talk to Grobus and his stories and know where to find one. There should be a, a pendant in here. There it is. I could get a void egg. I actually need one, so I'm gonna get it. Which skills profession would you like to change? What I mean, goodbye. And into the bug layer we go. We got ourselves a dark pendant, and I fished up myself a little slime jack. And out of the bug layer we go. And that night I had a lovely dream where I switched up my profession into Tilla and Artisan for that sweet, sweet moolah. Oh yeah, human, you want to pass? I'm sorry, this is private property. Oh yeah? How about this? Sniff, sniff, that smell. I can't resist. Give me that. Thanks. Ooh, magic ink, let's fucking go. You found my ink. Excellent. Here, your reward is paying me a bunch of money and resources for me to build you shit. You're welcome, my boy. Oh, I almost forgot to say, ahem. Thank you. No, dog, all this shit's way too expensive. Ooh, ooh, feisty one. Ooh, it's a feisty one, chat. Ooh, look at him go. Yo. Void Salmon caught. Put that shit straight into the missing bundle. What's this? My old necklace. That's strange. I didn't even notice it was missing. Well, thanks for bringing it back, Bobo. I've got you, dog. 44,000 gold. I'm rich. Rock and stone, brother. <laughs> you bird friend. <laughs> Are you touching me? Oh! <laughs> Seem good. How did you end up here? I was born here, just like all the other bird friends. Can't you tell? Time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Blowing up the cave and seeing what's inside. Oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. One more cave's mushroom cell and I would have gone off the deep end. Ugh, so rubbery. Anyway, I'm Professor Snail. 
I've been conducting a survey of this island's flora for f and fauna for the last year. Hey, you should stop by the tent sometimes. My an enterprising individual like yourself could be my major asset in my project. <laughs> oh, and the cave just had a bunch of mushrooms in it, if you were wondering. If you ever encounter any bones, fossil, or modified specimens on this island, bring them to my desk, okay? I'll make it worth your while. Okay, bro. Please report the number of purple flowers present on the island. Hmm, that number doesn't fit my model at all. Maybe you should give it another shot tomorrow. Got some new ideas. Buggies! We've got it, boys! We got everything maxed out. We can unlock the new areas. Oh, oh. You sense that a new way is open. Donate. I can only do those ones. What? Seriously? That, that's all I can do? Mm, there's gotta be like uh, 20, 22. Yes, that seems very accurate. Thank you. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Times two, times three, times four. We've got the dwarvish language. We've got the ancient fruit seeds. What is that? Book of mysteries? You have a slightly greater chance to find mystery boxes. Awesome. <laughs> Bunnies. Okay, guys, you seeing this shit? We're about to spoil the game. Nah, not really. We have to unlock some secrets. Seeing this shit is the hunt to go for. We got another one, boys. Hi, Bobo. Please come in. Come in, Wouch, Bobo. Hmm, <laughs> that crispy bass was delicious. The breeding was to die for. I feel like part of this family now. <laughs> we got all the things. We got the Fergman. Guys, guys, new content. We're, we're gonna we're gonna see the new content guys. Oh my god. It's gonna happen. Look at the new content guys new content Look at this door. I can open it now. Oh new content guys new content. We got a note here My dear Popo if you're reading this note You found a secret room I've prepared for you within these walls are tips recipes and even some of my most cherished tools All the very best from the many happy years I spent in this valley by coming this far You'll have proven you that you possess the skill and wisdom to make good use of these powerful secrets. I hope my discoveries help you in your journey to making Frumpledink Farm a shining star of the whole world. Make me proud. We now have access to masteries, powerful and new abilities and tools, each catered to a specific field of gameplay. And the best part is, they're all gated behind gathering XP. So see you later, alligator. Uh, where did you find this? This man. We fought together in the war, Bobo. He was like a brother to me. But only one of us made it back. Thanks for bringing me this. It means a lot to me. Here, take this. It's been sitting in the back of our cupboard for years and we've never used it. Why is it in your hands? Why do you currently have it in your hand? I can give that to, to Gus. El Gusto. El Gusto. We've got the gourmet tomato sauce, El Gusto. That sharp smell. That's just the taste. The gritty texture. It can only be gourmet tomato salt. I'll trade you for it. Here's your Stardew Valley Rose. The barn spread like a virus. All right, Sally. Stardew Valley Rose? That's so lovely. Thank you. Never I miss the valley, I smell this rose. Hehe. <laughs> Here, take this. It's been on the shelf for 10 years and no one has bought it. You can have it. Is that a club card? Yes. Let's go, Mr. Kwee Well, well, well. Look who made it inside my exclusive clubhouse. There's a whole file on me. Oh my god. Let's go gambling! Aw, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, dang it. Hey, my boy. Here you go. Uh, what's this? But how about that? It's a new channel. Here, take this stone I found when I was a coal miner back in the day. Funny thing, it's glowed blue and stayed cold for over 40 years, like magic. If it's something glows, it's probably radioactive. Oh, that's the last scarecrow! Here you go, have, have the uranium. Most powerful substance indeed, and potently infused with the element of ice. Um, you still here? Oh, you want something? Take this. I just had a worm in this pocket. Ooh, a star drop. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's the perfect bait for a catfish I've been trying to catch. Here, let me trade you this for it. Not sure what it is. Washed up on the beach not too long ago. Yay, we got it. Guys, it's another summer and we got bloobs on the farm. Ooh, ooh, copper pan. Ooh, copper pan. Ooh, copper pan. Ooh, uh... 
Aww. Here you go, lady. I got your bite of luck. Thank you very much. So how's this smell after all these years? It's been a lonely life here, child. But I don't regret it at all. I'm doing right by my old man. And we'll be together again someday soon. <laughs> You've brought me great peace. This lock will comfort me for the rest of my days. How about I teach you how to make fairy dust, child? You can take these, too. <gasps> what now? <laughs> Fool! And now we can go to this place. Yay! Whilst I was peacefully fishing in this secret little cave, suddenly a whole pirate crew appeared and kicked me out of the cave. Ah, mamma mia, come down, brother. Yo, the army! You must have a keen eye to have spotted our secret cove. Yo ho. Yo ho ho. From yonder seas, a chilling tale, a nightmare show to haunt your sleep. It was midnight when I lost me hands to a savage monster, OD the deep. It the art is true. Or I'm just kidding. I actually lost them while trying to fish an eggshell out of the blender. Yar me mateys, you're looking at the best dart throw in the seven seas. Yar har har har. Well, sing me, that's some good throwing. Here's a little something for you. <laughs> it is raining. There's jumbird. That shit. Mermaid one. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Ribbit. Yes, this is it. Swinging me back to the old days. Sunny days when things were sweeter. <laughs> oh, I could take a big juicy bite. But I won't. Yes, I am very pleased. Here, this is for you. Just <laughs> to see the long yellow thing which tickles the skin and waves in the wind. It's sweet. Who the fuck? Sniff, sniff. Ho! Oh, is that you? Urgh. I have some good sauce still, friend. Making me very, very happy. Just want to thank you. Bye-bye, friend. It was once again time for some green rain, so I decided to make a little mushroom log setup with some wild trees and, well, mushroom logs. <laughs> Damn, this guy sells nothing but garbage. I don't really get it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, bro. I'm gonna buy everything. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Top hat, of course. Rare of course. Who cares about hardwood fences? Give me all of that. Fireworks? Yeah, I think so. We got fireworks. We got wallpapers. We got more wallpapers. That's an expensive wallpaper. I can't even buy the other flooring. I spent all the money. Fuck. Now I gotta, gotta earn it back. I gotta earn it back. Yes. We got a thousand bucks. Is that enough? That's not- it costs- does it cost a million? It costs a hundred thousand. Firework! The Lux Scarecrow. Nice. I'm finally feeling smart enough to learn the farming mastery, which grants me a crop harvesting scythe, a statue of mediocre blessings, and extremely rare crackers for more efficient animal husbandry. Oh yeah. Oh yes. This is an amazing update. <laughs> Just because of this, this is actually insane. Ooh, perfect harvesting opportunity, boys. Hungry? Eat the mushroom. There you go, my boy. Thanks, Bobo. Take this. Raccoon shop has expanded. Now we can grow the family bigger. I was feeling rather bookish today, so I bought myself Way of the Wind Part 1, Horse the Book, and all Slitherings, meaning that I can travel slightly faster in all sorts of terrain. Now hey, another gem bird. Plunk. And speaking of gems, I decided to infuse my sword with three rubies and also a prismatic shard, making it have the Crusader enchantment. Death to all undead. After all this time, I finally figured out that I was supposed to actually click on the statue to activate the little memory game from which I received a spoonful of golden walnuts as a reward. Whilst harvesting bloobs, I reached a new level of understanding and went ahead and got a foraging mastery, which allows me to grow special trees, spawn worms in the ground, and get gold in mystery boxes. Linus Tech Tips himself descended from the heavens and asked me to remove to wanty trash from the valley. So naturally, I went to the most trash populated place, floor 100 of the mines, and completed his request in about two days. As a reward, my boy sent me a recipe for fiber seeds. And so I planted some because I needed a bunch of fiber. A shadow person? Above ground? This is outrageous! Your people were responsible for the death of my entire family! You dwarves hadn't driven us from our ancestral home. We'd never have resorted to uh, violence. Let me have him, he's the spickle. Go and get it, shrimpy. A wizard comes in at a perfect timing, sets both of them on fire. Silence, both of you. The elemental wars have long been finished. You have no reason to be fighting any longer. 
and two of you must make peace for the sake of the humans that live around you. Very well, I stay away from the sewer from now on. Ah, uh, you have something to show me. Burp. Yes, this is it. <laughs> Reminds me of an old girlfriend. Burp. Look here. I could tickle you with this. But I won't. Yes, I'm very pleased. Here, this is for you. I would like to see the zesty ground food, which make it the breath stink. Oh hey, we have the wind power too. I can run even faster. <laughs> With our hole fully upgraded, we can now move on to upgrading the trash can and copper can to their full potential. Thirsty? Eat the juice. Thanks, Bobo. Take this. Ooh, you're very good. You're a good friend, Bobo. Now we can have another. Hello, donate. Here you go. I have that. Goodbye. A regular one, I'm looking for. Would you look at that? Another full set complete. And while we're on the Ginger Islands, we might as well buy the Diamond Hunter book. Guess what? I still don't have enough fiber, so we gotta plant more. Another XP, another mastery. And this time we're unlocking a combat master, which gives us access to trinkets and nothing else. Salad. Oh, I got a golden cracker. Hoggies. What the fuck is that? You're immune to debuffs? Okay. Monster Slayer Gold uh, update. Uh, there's still a bunch of shit left, but not that much actually. So like, oh uh, yeah. Yes. We're hats. We're the hats. We're one outside. We give the light. We're the hats. I'm my boy. What can I do on it? Snake with the Oh god. Let's... You've outdone yourself, Bobo. This is one of the most pristine specimens I've ever seen. Thank you. All three! I wish it was a banana sapling, though. And now we finally have enough walnuts to go into the secret locked door. Well, well, well. Look who's made it to my secret walnut room. I'm truly impressed. Even though you only needed a fraction of the walnut to gain full access to the Wyland, you decided to push yourself further. Your desire to enter the secret door was so strong that you went above and beyond to get inside. That being said, you weren't under the impression that the challenge ended here, were you? No. <laughs> In fact, the challenge just begun. On your life, you'll find a board with some very interesting opportunities. These challenges, which I've designed just for you, will push you to your very limit. However, if you can successfully conquer my challenges, you'll earn an exclusive currency. I call them Q gems. Percentage. 33! 98% fees. Yeah. <laughs> With loads of items to purchase, many challenges will have to be accomplished. First one being Queer's Cuisine, which wants me to cook a whole 100,000 gold worth of food. Now at a glance, this challenge doesn't seem so bad, but there is a major problem. All of the food in the game sells for almost nothing. Most of the time, even less than the ingredients put into the dish. I truly thought that this challenge was impossible, but a glimmer of hope descended down into my mail. A mysterious figure who could help me with the challenge. Mr. Fizz. Uh, sir, you got my letter, huh? Nice to meet you. I'm Fizz, judge of special services division. You haven't heard of us? Uh, that's okay, most people haven't. We're not really advertised like other Georgia products. We're more of a specialty service for elite clients. What do we do? Heh, <laughs> well, let's just say we specialize in legally complex matters. Catch my drift? But enough chit chat, let's get to business. I've heard you're trying to achieve perfection. A noble goal, but difficult, very difficult. All this cooking, crafting, monster slaying, all those complicated friendships. Gah, I can see how stressed you are. But there's the thing. You don't need to stress another minute. We've got you covered. Uh, you see these papers here? They're called perfection waivers. Each one of these beautiful pages are worth 1% towards perfection. You've even got Mr. Q's signature on it. Completely legit. Do I look like someone who would lie to you? Don't answer that. Anyway, I'm selling these for a sweet, sweet price. Just 500,000 a pop. A steal. Oh, no pressure. Just think about it. I'll be waiting. I'm, 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 the, the capitalism, that doesn't help at all, dickhead. You're wasting my time. Oh, well, back to cooking. I grabbed all of the ingredients I've gathered over the entire course of the game and made all the dishes I could. But guess what? It still wasn't enough. So I stopped trying to do it the hard way and just bought a bunch of coffees from Gus, turned them into triple shot espressos, and the challenge was complete. All that for a measly sum of 25 Kui gems. 
you guys didn't know this, but I've actually been secretly gathering a prize ticket, and now that I have ten, I think it's finally time to claim them all. So to start with, we've got a star drop tea, and then we got a county cow, then a Domi Geode, four bee houses, five diamonds, five mystery boxes, magic rock candy, another star drop tea, treasure, and finally an iridium sprinkler. That concludes the prize ticket opening. That sucked and was not worth it at all. Oh, and by the way, at some point I got myself a parrot, which basically makes enemies drop gold sometimes when I kill them. Very nice. So I finally gathered up enough resources to make myself the Statue of Blessings, which gave me random buffs every day, such as infinite energy. Yay! <laughs> I ate this once. Long ago. Give me a pungent aroma for days. Mod me of Papa when I was just a tadpole. I will could take a mark and produce that pro poignant odor once more. But I will you have done me a great service. You've given an old toll one last trip down memory lane. Here's one last reward for you, friend. Uh, what do we got? Prismatic shards? Yo, easy, bro. Oh, yes, I enchanted my hoe and my axe and got generous in shaving respectfully. You are not prepared. Boom! Yeah. I ended up using two treasure troves and the only good thing I got from it was the golden relic and gift gunter. And I guess a bunch of other random garbage. What? What? Oh my lord! Oh my lord, boys! We got a lot of it. Slime Slayer quest complete! After all these years of waiting, our bees have finally produced a bunch of fairy rose honey that ended up selling for a whole 50,000 gold. It's kind of sad though, because this can only be done for a few weeks in fall. None of the other seasons are nearly as lucrative. If only there was an all year flower similar to ancient fruit, then my honey empire could actually be worth my time. Oh well. Oh hey, another Monster Slayer goal complete. This time it was the Dust Sprites. Yay! Uh, I need still 75 Void Spirits. Everything else is pretty much done. Holy shit. You are witnessing the first ring combination of the series between the Burglar's Ring and the Iridium Band. A most powerful duo. Maru, I got something to tell you. If you were an angel, then I'd, um, I'd, I'll see you in heaven. Yeah, how you like those words? <laughs> At the time any of these stars are visited, you and I will be long gone. Nah, bro, I'm immortal. I got, I got the forest magic and the riz. Didn't you just, didn't you hear it, bro? <clears throat> Sorry, let me repeat myself. Maybe you didn't, maybe you didn't quite hear it. If you were a angle, maybe you would be like, um, uh, are you an angle? Because you got a lot of eyes. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Ah, yes, the mining mastery. Granting me access to the statue of the Dwarf King, a heavy furnace, and more gems. Hey, Pumpkin! <laughs> oh, so many golden mystery boxes, all filled with garbage. Last fucking upgrade. Let's go! Oh my goodness! The smelting is happening at an insane speed. Fine. Oh, prismatic shard. Oh, another one. Let's go. Hey, yo, I only need one prismatic shard. This is the easiest quest ever. Oh, prismatic shards. Go. Oh, why did I just get 100,000? Oh, because of the honey, basically. And a bunch of other shit. Poggies. Let's go. Oh. He'll grant his hand, patting your shoulder. Yo! 50 love gifts and why? That's pretty good. Mine elevator has been ran. Okay, I need that though. And it's 50. Okay, cool. We're gonna do more mining. <gasps> we can summon my horse. Or we can do Piers missing stopping list. Or we can go that way to the key to that town. But it's probably best if I just get it. And then I shall save up for Piers stuff. It's not that one. Yes! Ah yes, the mines. Twisted into a new, more challenging version by Mr. Kui. The first few dozen floors didn't offer much outside of a reskin and some squid. And so I ventured forth into the jungle, where I found many swarms of little bouncing mushies. Going deeper, the jungle became twisted. The air turned to a sickly thick 
fog. Spiders and their many webs became the norm in this wretched place. But most fearsomely of all, the green ghouls started appearing. One hit from them and your ability to infinitely heal yourself with food fades into the aether. After many nauseating fights, I found myself in the icy cold dungeon. Despite its cold looks, it was actually a rather nice place. Even the blazing depths below them were rather welcoming. Despite being overwhelmingly filled with hordes of void spirits, hordes honestly only quickened my descent down because they would often drop a ladder for me. And with that, we've reached the bottom with 50 new Quee Gems in hand and a bit of shine new radioactive ore. We were ready to go home. This dude really wants me to pan for all the bone fragments. Cringe is missing. List. Yo boys, we got the fossilized spinet. Only two more fossilized things to go. One and a doubling. Oh, oh, oh. Spot, 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 spot. Oh, and there's another one. Come on, come on, give me it. No, I don't think it gave me it. Oh, wow, it's my old stock list. I've been searching everywhere for this thing. With these order codes, I can expand my stock and loot seeds from all seasons year round. Oh, I got a quest to give people 50 love gifts within a week, so I picked up a bunch of gems and a bunch of other stuff, and let's go. Ooh. Yes, the beloved farmer. Oh my god, guys, is that the magical warp totem back to the house? Oh, Sally. Sally. Please give me the thing I need, please. Is that it? Is that it? Wait, is that... And yes, that was the last mineral I needed to complete the museum. Now all I need is one single artifact and I will be done forever. Oh, oh, what's gonna happen? Willy in the boat. Now he's on the dock. Linus, what the fuck is Linus doing here? Hello, Leo. My name is Linus. I've heard all about you and your parrot family. Leo, I'd like you to come back with us to Stardew Valley. It's a beautiful place. Not as one as here, but still full of life. Leo, will you come back with us? Uh, leave the island? I, I'll go. <gasps> Yay, everybody's happy. Linus can teach him his tech tips. Let's fucking go. Next Quee quest is Quee's Prismatic Grange, where I have to find a hundred red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple items, all of which I just kind of had in my chests, in the form of red quartz, copper ore, sap fiber, and bug meat. The only problem color was blue, because blueberry seeds didn't count, so I had to give him a bunch of random blue gems to complete the quest. Oh, oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. I got the thing. That's the thing I needed. Oh my goodness. There you go. Only one last thing left. Now that I've amassed 120 Kui gems, I can buy three galaxy souls and upgrade my weapon with them to its full potential. Oh, we got the monster slayer. Whoa, what is that? Animal fright. Must be the world's largest egg. Can I? Hello, Robin. Give me a house upgrade. Thank you. Goodbye. Yo, Leo's not in here. I put a floor over the entire quarry so rocks wouldn't spawn because I thought I would make a big slime farm. However, I just kind of ended up making a very small slime farm in the corner and uh, that whole thing was useless. Yay. Yay, starfruit wine. Yay. Oh, hey, and would you look at that? The final monster slayer quest right here in the skull caverns. How lovely. The family members of the fish have returned to the valley. You have three days to cash all of them. It's just like no rewards. So I don't care. The other one's better. Oh my god, 49? What? It's crazy. Just completing the monster slayer here would give like 10% or some shit. Okay, we got the boots. We got the booze. We got a booze. We got our boots, boys. We got our boots. We Holy shit, we got it, boys! We've done it! We have outdone yourself, Bobo. This is one of the most pristine specimens I've ever seen. And would you look at that? With his donation, we've got another full set piece done. The lecture looks fantastic. It's all thanks to you, Bobo. Here, as a way of saying thanks, I want to teach you something. Learn how to craft ostrich incubator. To complete the museum, I bought a bunch of artifact shows from the desert trader and had Clint open them all up for me. <gasps> is that it? Oh, did, did I complete the museum? Just like that. And with that, the museum collection is complete, and I get a little star drop as a reward. Psst, Baba, 
I need a gift for the missus. Boom, boom. Done. Just like that. Thanks, Bobo. Take this. <laughs> what the fuck turned me into a giant ass tank? What are these guys doing? They're, they're making more babies. That is great. Horse flute moment. I got another quest to collect four prismatic shards. And on my way to collect them, I ended up going all the way down to floor 272 without any staircases, pretty much. My lord. Hey guys, <laughs> what's, what's up? You guys sleeping good? Welcome to the wine cellar where we take your precious wine and put it in a box and forget about it until it's better. Quality guaranteed. <laughs> Look at the amount of money I can make. Oh my god. We've got 400,000 doll hairs. Uh, the mine elevator go on the ground. Okay, I'll do that again. All right, let's go, Harvey. Why are you staring at a blank wall? Am I soft locked? Bro, just go through the tree. Just go around. Just a fallen galaxy. So what? <laughs> How many people are even left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. That's a lot. Mark, what the fuck? What the fuck is that now? What the fuck is that, bro? What is that? What is that? What is that? What just happened? Ooh. Ooh. Maybe I can go to Piers and buy. Oh, shit. Bananas are done. Hell yeah. I'm gonna need a lot more of those. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we are gonna be rich. We got the banana. Oh, big monkey. Hey, yo. Oh, thanks. <gasps> Grandpapa. Oh, my goodness. Hello. My dear boy. Been many years since we last spoke. You were just a little boy. Look how far you've come. Though you may have forgotten me, I've been here all along. You see, my body has departed this world, but my heart will always remain in Stardew Valley. I'm so proud of you, boy. You're a better farmer than I ever was. You've brought great honor to the family name. I can feel it now. My spirit is finally put to rest. Yo, we got all the four candles in it. Yo, we got Statue of Perfection. Oh, yay. We got a thousand dollars. We're rich. Papa, I'll give you something nice. Gulp. He needs two sea urchin. Fuck. Uh, thanks, Papa. I'll take this. One fucking cave carrot. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. The slime population is growing. Bro, when the fuck did I hatch an ostrich? I have no idea. <laughs> well, we got ostriches now, by the way. We. Wink. That's all of it. Right, right there. Yes. Oh, the others made it back except me. Now I can go home too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, let's plant all the trees here. All of them. That's so evil. Just plant a bunch of houses around a person's house. I'm bringing the forest back to the town, you know? I've done a lot of cutting down of trees and I just felt bad, you know, so I wanted I wanted to give back a little bit. Oh my god, Jojo Marty's repaired buggies. God damn, this looks sexy. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you this, but I'm gonna like marry Harvey on a whim. Um I just kinda want the star drop, honestly. I really don't care for having a relationship, honestly though. Oh my goodness, I get to do Danger of the Deep Quest again. Yay! 129 Q gems. God damn. Oh, shit. Cool. Well, our ears loaded already. Looks like everything's set. Hey, everyone. We're from Pelican Heads and we're called Goblin Destroyer. Uh, here we go. Here we go. My parrot's making sounds, bro. Dude, dude, why is Leia dancing with Elliot? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Why are they dancing together? I thought, like... I thought they both loved me. Why are they... Why, why are they with each other? What the fuck? This is cringe. That was great. Nice work, guys. I really love that heavy breakdown at the end. There's the wedding. Yay! When Bobo first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. My great honor on this day, seven of spring, that we are gonna bond them with marriage. As the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you husband and, well, husband. 
Make it. Ew! Bluegrass starter, make that. Magic bait, deluxe fertilizer, hyper speed grow, and heavy tap. After all these long, long years, I finally decided that I'm actually rich enough to just buy the wood instead of growing a bunch of trees in front of Robin's house. Yo guys, check out my new drip. Emily made it for me. Isn't it neat? Is the winner receive some fabulous prizes? Okay, let's go with the let's go with the cactus crawler. Animax. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Oh my goodness. Oh, the crab, crab's taking over. Come on, keep going, Mr. Crab. Oh, the chicken's catching up. What are you doing, Crab? What are you doing? You're throwing, you're actually throwing the game. Why would you do this to me, Mr. Crab? Come on, Crab, I believe. Man, I almost won. He was in the lead the entire time. Race's winner is Speed Rooster. With the power of the statues, a triple shot espresso, rumple fruit skin, and a dash of magic rock candy, we end up with plus eight luck, plus three speed, plus five defense and attack, and plus two mining. With these stats, we will surely make it further than anyone ever has in the Skull Caverns. Flirt 208, that's how far I made it. I got really unlucky. It doesn't even beat my personal best of 272. It's fucking lame as hell. So your hair shimmers with all the colors of a prismatic shard. Okay. We got rainbow hair. Oh, looks like you're here by yourself. We came here with a guest. You can order them a snack. Try it out sometime. Oh. I can't order a popcorn for myself. That's bullshit. Brr, it's kind of crafty over here. I'm glad I wore it with my long pants. I really should have invited Harvey and gotten some friendship nest pellets with him, but I don't, I don't care. I'm just using him to get a star drop, if I'm being honest. The brave little sapling is leaving his home. He hesitates for a moment and turns around, knowing he won't be back for a long time. Oh no! Out of nowhere, it starts raining. The little sapling goes into a sprint as thunderclouds loom overhead. <laughs> Fearing for his life and demoralized by the relentless downpour, the brave little sapling begins to lose hope. Good! <laughs> but what's this? The sapling feels a tingling on top of his head. Perhaps a little rain was what it needed to begin its journey into becoming a tree. Farewell, little- Oh! He fucking died and turned into a tree! What the fuck? I'm so glad I got to see the movie with all of those people that were also in the movie getting there man this is almost this is about to be done this as well bro this house looks ugly as fuck let's switch it up a bit <laughs> this should look busting it's, it's, it's 10 out of 10 with the house again Ooh, it's ready good answer leo <laughs> that was a great day no i still miss my family back on the island but mostly i feel happy about the memories I'm not sad all right here you go mr <laughs> raccoon i got you dog Thanks, Bubba. Take this. You've got a cave carrot. Yeah, there it is, boys. We got it. Got the star job. Here you go, Mr. Mr. Raccoon. Thanks, Bubba. Take this. Ooh, some fairy dust. Like, actually something good for once. And I'm not gonna use anyway. Yes, it was finally time to cook all of the recipes. I first grabbed a bunch of ingredients and just slammed them all into the fridge. And then I just started cooking, dog. Just anything I could, all in a row. Until I ran out of ingredients and had to go get new ones, of course. And I did that by placing a bunch of crab pots in the ocean and the river. Yeah, that's right. I'm selling everything to get the achievement. Yep. Man, I really thought that ostriches would be rather loose. Lucrative, so I invested a bunch of time into them, and it was a waste of time. They produce fucking nothing. <laughs> Strange sound was heard in the night. Hello. Hello. So in the Ginger Islands, there's this thing called the journal scraps, and to try to get all of them, I went and dug every single fucking rock in the entire volcano thing, and still didn't get one. <laughs> I've been cooking in the darkness. Ah, you're right on time, Bubba. I'm just set the table. Yo! <laughs> right next to the sewing machine. Beautiful. You've been working so hard on the farm, I wanted to make you a special dinner. I've been sleeping for like a week. <laughs> it's my very own angel hair pasta primavera. Tastes like your mustache, bro! Glad you like it. You deserve this best. Oh, nice! 400,000, okay. Oh yeah, almost a million. Hell 
of us. I'll give you something nice. Haven't I done enough, Raccoon? Have I not done enough? Give me uh, the island one. Yeah, I can fit it there, whatever. After a wonderful cooking session, I was left with only two recipes I couldn't yet make. That being the spicy eel and the fried eel. So, all I had to do was wait for the right weather and catch myself some eel. Eel time. Spicy eel and fried eel. Boom! Gourmet chef, baby. It's been done, sis, somewhere in here. It's, it's cook every recipe. What? Uh, one more obelisk after this. Yeah, that's fine. I finally caved in and just looked up where the last fish I needed was. And it turns out it was in the fucking waterfall for some reason. There's no way I would have ever figured out the fish there ever. So like, cool. There it is. We... <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Okay, that was uh, weird. Now that all the cooking recipes are out of the way, it was time to craft all the crafting recipes. Conveniently, I nearly had all of the materials for all of the recipes, excluding the forageables for winter seeds and morels for some life elixir. All of which was easy enough to get, I just needed to wait a little bit. I also needed to wait for salmonberry season in spring, so I could ship every item in the game. Here, Bobby, our English skills surpass even my old pappies, so I want you to have it. Yay! <laughs> Turns out that that was the last star drop I needed, bringing us ever so close to perfection. That's a rock. What? How the frick would you ever figure this shit out, bro? What? All right, that's kind of cool. And the way buffet, you have a great chance to find item in the tray. In here, just in that box up there. What the fuck? That's just been there the whole time. What the fuck? I got a discount for snooping in his house. It's really funny. I went to this man's house and just like looked around. I was like, yeah, I'll be taking that. That's mine now. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, surely. Surely with 11 treasure totems. I will, I will, I will get, I will get a two fucking journal scraps, right? Shut up. Guess what I didn't get? The journal scraps. And the last book I needed was found in artifact trove. So I just started opening a bunch of them until I got it. That's the book. <laughs> oh, 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 it happened. Let's go! That's all the books, baby! Let's go! Yeah, we out here aging some ancient fruit wine. Turning it more ancient, you know? Adds flavor. Bro, who the fuck deleted half of my maple trees? The fuck? So I used 22 treasure totems and dug up 350 artifact spots to try and find journal scraps. But guess what? Apparently, you cannot get journal scraps from artifact spots, and I did not know that. Fucking 58 snake vertebrae and 4 golden animal crackers, and not one fucking journal scrap! I then tried to grow some mega crops for journal scraps, but guess what? Mega crops don't spawn on the ginger islands. <laughs> Is it the last one? Oh, 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 please tell me it's the last one. Fuck. There's still a crafting recipe I don't have. Yeah, apparently I didn't have the tub of flowers recipe from the flower dance, so I'm gonna have to wait till spring to get that. Oh! oh my God, I'm fucking finally! One more. And it turns out that the last couple of golden walnuts were gated behind the dart throwing thing, so I quickly got that and bada bing bada bam! We got all the golden walnuts. Here's the game. Oh! I fucking thought that was the fun best game ever, I don't care. Alright, that's it, we're done. That. Yo, ship up 15 of everything, let's fucking go. Oh, yeah, look, is the, is the flower dance. Yeah, I'm so happy. Is this done? <clears throat> that only sells for like a million, man, I need like 10 million. Guess what? I slipped through salmon berry season, and while I will have to wait all year to get some more. Conveniently though, I ended up sleeping through most of the year anyway, because I was trying to get to 10 million gold for the golden clock. My days consisted of sleeping, gathering ancient fruit, turning into wine and drying some of it, collecting wool and ostrich eggs and turning them into cloth and mayonnaise, and of course sleeping some more until I finally had 11 million gold in hand. Well, how much did we get? 2 million, 3 million, we're halfway there. Oh my lord. The cloth was a 600 grand? I think this is it. I think this is the last day. <laughs> Finally. A desert obelisk? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, man. Finally. Prevents debris from appearing and keeps fences from decaying. Put it. Well, let's put it there. 
Yes, I slept for like a month and a half, basically hibernated all winter, and finally got my hands on some salmon berries. Great friends, 97. Oh my fucking god. Fucking Harvey lost friendship with me because I was sleeping the whole fucking time. So yes, I spent the entire next month waking up, grabbing a cup of coffee from the coffee maker, and giving it to Harvey, and going straight back to sleep. Somewhere, somehow, Grandpa is beaming with pride. The legacy of Frumpledink Farm is eternal! <laughs> Yes, yes, we've done it. A rumbling sound was heard in the distance. Statue of true perfection. <laughs> yes, perfect. Here it is. It is unlocked. Yes, to the summit we go. Yes, EP. I cannot believe how long that took. That is a little insane. It'll, some of it looks fucked up, I'm gonna be honest. Hey, Barbara. So beautiful, I'll be here. I was just thinking about the last five years. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? Because you stupid fucking bitch, fucking goddamn, fucking goddamn salmon berries, all fine. When I'm next to you, I'm not even scared of falling off this cliff and dashing, on, dashing onto the sharp rocks below. Yo, crab was flying on a crow, what the frick? Oh, that's the dog. I'm like, what the hell is that? That looks fucked up. That's not an eel, bro. That's a fucking yellow tube. And Mr. Quiz here, yo. It's been a long road. You challenged yourself to reach the summit. What an accomplishment! Exclamation mark. We've been watching every step of the way. That's kind of creepy, bro. And you've made us very proud. Well, the adventure is finally over. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. And I suppose I'll see you in the next adventure. Goodbye.